Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Jump Geek Puffin. We're back out again, uh, this time out of New Haven Harbour. Uh, the weather's looking good, perhaps a slight breeze out there. Uh, we're going to shoot on about seven miles out to a wreck uh, with my faithful Sib, um, as you can see behind. And we've got James with us today. Uh, James is another great kayaker and he's also got his own Sib. Uh, and there's a couple of other boats out there, so we might run into them a little bit later on. So, yeah, it's all quite exciting, actually. Fingers crossed for that autumn winter cod. Still hoping for that one. Uh, still some nice bass out there as well. So today could be a really epic day, but it could also be a rubbish day because we have had a blow for the last uh, few weeks. So hence the reason why there hasn't been any other videos. But yeah, let's just get on out there and see how it is. See you out there. Hello, here we are. We're roughly about seven miles out now. Uh, just about to hit our sweet spot on this reef. Probably the furthest I've been out in a sib for a long time. Nice light breeze out here, not too bad. So we're gonna see how we can do it. You can see I've got the GoPro in my head this time. I'm gonna do something different. So please let me know in the comments if, the, if you like this idea. Um, not because it makes me look like a bit of an idiot, but um, you might then have a bit more of a, a first person view of, of, of what I'm catching and bringing up or, or all the techniques or things like that. So if, if you prefer that, let me know, but I'm gonna do a bit of a mixture between holding one camera and then having this. So fingers crossed, it goes well. Please let me know if you like it or not. If I don't, I'm just gonna look like an idiot for nothing. Anyway, see you soon. I'm about to approach the rack now. It's a very, very snaggy rack. I've seen some bait fish in the water and some other fish so and I'm sure there's bass certainly characteristics of bass so the thing is you want to keep your you don't want to keep it on the wreck on this one twenty meters I'm off, but you can definitely see there's fish. There's fish down there. You in the wreck again. You caught the wreck again? Huh? Yeah, I've just had a take on mine. I've just had a take on mine. Oh, hello, here we go. There we go. Here we go. I wouldn't say decent, but... I mean, it could be a pouting, but it'd be a big pouting to take that lure I've got. They are greedy sods. Ah, oh. oh. I mean, literally, unbelievable. What is that? Pouting. But they say I am the pouting king. Ah, and there we go, you're off. <sighs> well, if there's pouting on that rack, there'll be other things.
I'm going to cut it off here because we're literally coming onto this the reef here. I'll just drop a little, yeah. yeah. The one thing I want about more than anything else. Very slightly moved to the side. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Nice. There we go. That's a better one. A coddling! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, can you believe it? My first coddling of the year. Woohoo! There we go. Coddling of the year. I definitely cod on the bottom, man. Eh? Oh, first cod of the year. Well, that makes up for all the times I have not caught a codling. But it goes to show, you can be out all that way and not get anything. <sighs> I thought it was a bass, actually. A pouncing. <laughs> Hey, here we go. There's another bite again. There's definitely cod down there. <clears throat> yeah, there's another bite straight away again. Got to get one now that's three times that size. I wonder if the spoon thing is not really right for this condition. Yeah, I would get rid of the boom. Just go direct to it. If you're going to use the boom, have a long trace, but then have the um, uh, a, a sidewinder, a little white sidewinder. Yeah. It's a sidewinder, right? Yeah. I would probably go even go smaller than that. Have you got a small one? If not, I have. No, too big. I have tried this. Hang on, I've got one for you to use. Look. If there's cod about, oh, right. that. Make sure you take the thing off. Oh. 
Ah, a little tub gunnered. This is what I ate the other day, I love it. His Delta eels are um, the smaller ones, are, are really good actually. You've got them. Huh? I don't have anything this small. They work really, really well. Anyway, we're here at the end of the day. Look at the scenery. Look at this. Most amazing sunset that's going on behind us in the Cookmere Valley just off Eastbourne, the Seven Sisters. Some of the best views, uh, scenery there is. You just can't beat this for sib fishing. It is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, end of the day, we've had a codling. First of the year, so I am chuffed. It's not a monster, I know, but it's a start. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really chuffed with getting that codling. James has had a place, we've had a scad. Um, not sure what else. I think we've, we've just had a bit of a mix back today. Not the best for the most amazing fish, but a lot better than a blank. Anyway, please leave in the comments whether you like the first person view thing. If it is, I will just keep doing that. Um, if not, I won't. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, please. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next video. Bye.